Good morning, PHS. I'm Amelia. And I'm Maria. And this is PHS News. The Perry Speech and Debate Team took Eastern Ohio by storm at the National Speech and Debate Association Big District Tournament at Glen Oak High School on Friday and Saturday. The Panthers took first place sweepstakes honors in debate, first place sweepstakes honors in speech, and first place in overall sweepstakes. The team qualified nine students to the national tournament in Salt Lake City in June and qualified six more students to the state tournament in March. A record-breaking 46 students will represent Perry in Cincinnati in March. Our newly crowned national qualifiers are Destiny Sparkman, tournament champion in program oral interpretation, Shannon Halley and Alexis Hendershot, tournament champions in policy debate, Jarrett Hughes and Mitchell Urian, policy debate, Hannah Petit, United States Extemp, Clay Owens, International Extemp, Ethan Peterson, Dramatic Interpretation, and Maggie Craig, Original Oratory. Receiving individual honors and qualifying to the state tournament by advancing to the final round were Jesse Williams and Jesse Nato. First alternates to nationals in public forum debate, Maddie Carpenter and Annalisa Brand. First alternates in policy debate, Leah Reese. Second alternate or original oratory, and Patrick Disman, sixth place dramatic interp. Also receiving final round recognition, it would have previously qualified to state were Noah Henry and Julie Williams, second alternates and duo interp, Louis Shaheen, sixth place Lincoln Douglas debate, Alexis Collins, first alternate original oratory, Sierra Forney, first alternate informative speaking, Noah Ott, sixth place humorous interp, Jeff Swan, second alternate United States extemp. Congratulations, Perry Speech and Debate. Now it's on to the next big thing. Let's take Cincinnati by storm at the state tournament in two weeks. Go, Perry! Perry wrestlers competed in the individual state sectional tournament on Saturday and earned hard-fought victories over many opponents. Ten of our wrestlers qualified for this district tournament this coming weekend, earning fourth place in a number four seed in their weight class are Kyle Gruber and Dury Sparkman. Earning third place in a number three seed was Logan LaCourt. Earning second place in a number two seed in his weight class was Zach Blackenston. Earning first place in a number one seed in the district tournament were Gary Define, Joe Koontz, David Carr, Amel Sunlin, Jake Little, and Adam Gregory. This Friday and Saturday, our boys will be in Mentor. Wish them good luck as they will each battle to get into the state tournament. Last Friday, the Perry Mock Trial Team competed at the regional tournament at the Summit County Courthouse. Congratulations to Clay Owens, who was awarded Best Attorney, and Alex Oriens, who was awarded Best Witness. Congratulations to the entire team. You certainly made Perry proud. Attention boys soccer players, there will be a mandatory parents meeting on the evening of February 23rd. The meeting will be in the high school cafeteria at 6. Mr. Campbell is again issuing yet another challenge to our entire jungle crew, as well as our entire student body, to get as many students as we can over to Walsh University tonight to watch our girls basketball team take on our rival, the North Canton Hoover Vikings, in a showdown to see who goes to the district championship game at 815. Not only do we want you to attend the game, but we want to hear you get loud. No more excuses. School pride. Get up and cheer. Mr. Campbell will be selling pre-sale tickets today to all students who plan on attending the game. Mr. Campbell is personally going to pick one student who has the most enthusiasm, most spontaneous costume, and exemplifies school pride and take them to lunch. It's never late to show pride. Consider every student challenged. Best Buddies will have a meeting Thursday, February 25th from 2.30 to 3.30 in room 167. Please attend if you can. Mrs. Butler needs help getting things prepared for next week. If you're still wondering what to be when you grow up, then Career Quest is for you. This coming Sunday night at 6.30 in the cafeteria, Career Quest will help you get a grip on the future. $3 gets you pizza and pop and time to figure out what you might be good at for a career. Sign up in the guidance office. And now, here's Mr. Conrad with his Monday message. Good morning, students, and happy Monday. I hope you enjoyed the warmer weather this weekend. Today, I want, wanted to express my appreciation to our students involved in extracurricular and co-curricular activities. I spent most of the weekend watching many of our students compete against excellent competition. I couldn't be more proud of you, Perry High School students. Win or lose, we compete to do our best, and we do it with a lot of class. Competing at such a high level and competing so graciously with sportsmanship 
is just another example of the greatness we have at Perry. And for that, I thank you. I'll end today's message with a fitting quote from Gianni Versace who said, it's nice to have valid competition. It pushes you to do better. Thank you and let's have a great week. Well, that's all we have for you today, Perry. Have a marvelous Monday. <laughs>